sorry, I thought you didn't. I didn't say that we had a slight interlude there. Well, okay, well, can you put it into a container that is microwave proof? It, it, it is. It says on the plates. And the bit's oven proof, you're saying? Yeah, oven proof and microwave proof. That's right. Uh, I'm filming this. I know, well, that's And right. your batch is about to die. <laughs> okay, quick. Okay, so let's quickly just have a taste of this wine then. Um, the the colour is light, ruby esque. Um, much, much different, sorry, much more different than the uh, syrup. I've been thrown off course there by the interlude. It's fruity. Um, I'm going to try a little bit. It's obviously quite a, a light wine compared to the syrup. Mm -hmm. um, nevertheless, it's got a very characterful. Which is almost a tiny little bit orangey, orangey yes. red. It's kind of interesting. I'm getting caramels. Yes. Oops. So that might be the fire alarm. We're just going to continue filming anyway. Anyway, so. <laughs> Oops. As I said, I better set fire to the camper van here. Call us if you need to get um, a fire engine. So, it's more ruby esque, orangey colours. Cherries, a little bit of pencil sharpenings. Almost in a jelly bean kind of. Yes. That's a really pretty wine, mm. very delicate. Very subtle. We're gonna have steak this evening. Just so you know, you half your hand is covering the the actual. No, it's fun. not. Your fingers are quite good. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is our first bit of safety filming. So by the end of the holiday, should be skilled. Second, we have to. Probably not going to get me filming again. To be honest. 2007 <laughs> Napa, Napa Valley Syrah. Right, and right, you first. Though I think uh, my heart's already gone to the uh, Pinot Noir. The battery's about to die. Very, very, it's hot, it's hot, very it's much hot, darker it's... hue. Almost, almost black currant, yes. isn't it? Black currant. Lots of light coming into the side. <laughs> Good viscosity. <laughs> oh, a lot of fruit. <clears throat> I think that's just be that. The joys of being in RV is that everything hangs from the ceiling and I haven't been able to charge the flip camera because it's going to fall out from the floor. Hmm. Well. Punchy? Very punchy. M much punchy, obviously. Than More the aggressive. Pink, yeah. Uh, an aggressive, yes, but still with, with lots and lots of fruit. Um, vanilla, it's, it's cherries. Oh, immediately that vanilla almost sort of a butterscotch yeah. toffee nose. I like toffee nose. <laughs> Black currants, raspberries, yep. medley of summer fruits, maybe a summer fruit gatto almost. Yep. Some fruit pudding. This could definitely do with being open a while. It's big, it's bold, it's punchy. Lots of kind of chocolatey flavours coming through, mm. vanilla. Um, but it's still very smooth and soft. Oh, yes, Both yes. wines have a good sort of sense of integrity and balance to them. Neither is going <coughs> one way or the other. Right, so Marilyn, what are we going to drink this evening with our meat? That is the question. Well, I think because of the environment we're in, um, we're having steak, salad, chips, etc. It's a quite light-hearted thing. I think we should drink the Pinot Noir. Okay. Because I think this lends itself to being actually within four square walls in the house yeah, and actually having a proper meal. Yeah. Whereas it's going to be much more relaxed tonight. And I think the Pinot Noir is a much more relaxed wine. Interesting. See, I would always say the Pinot Noir is a more, you know, sort of a, a smarter you know, wine. But in fact, I agree with you. I think that you've made the right choice because the syrup is more chocolatey, more robust, and this is going to be a lot more sort of satisfying compared yes. to the flavours we're having. Right, thank you very much, Sophie, for your filming. Cheers to you all and to all a good night. Tim Tim. <laughs>